This summer, get ready for Jersey Shore, the movie, starring Mila Kunis as Snooki. Mm. Um, not so good, Uh huh. Tom Lennon as the situation. You see abs like this, this here? That's what they call the situation. And then I got this weird looking mole that's growing on my six pack, and that's another less sexy situation. But it's all good, because it's got a couple hairs that's growing on a mole, and so I started to gel them up real sexy. Nick Lachey as Ronnie. I got one rule, never fall in love at the Jersey Shore, unless it's with something you really want to rock, like an Italian girl or a Camaro. See Italian stereotypes taken to the next level. Guess what? F you. No, don't f me. F you. How about that? Oh, I'm sorry. Is she there? Like gonorrhea and Bon Jovi, love conquers all at the Jersey Shore. I've been up and down the whole ballpark. Where do I find the mushroom princess? Mushroom princess? Isn't that what they call girls who like a sausage in the cow zone? Euphemism. Mm. Find out how kinky things get after hours. I brought a guy back from Karma last night. He made me a mushroom princess. Snooky was screaming, uh, uh, uh. I got so excited I had to put the ham on my I'm glad somebody is getting some sides to the situation. Ah, uh, don't make me laugh. The situation, he never get the ladies. He's like my brother Luigi, except the more gay. Seriously, you think because I spend all day in the gym and I wear a thong in the tanning booth and I dance at a male strip club, that makes me gay? Uh, yeah, I think it does. Watch one man search for love. Last night, I asked Snooky out on a date. I think as long as I don't punch her in the face, maybe I get some. Yeah, Mario is kind of hot. If he pulls a little gel in his hair, then I might do him. I'ma put it on the gel. I put it on my mustache. Mario, I really like this place. Jersey Shore, the movie. Hello, what's the cover to go? Hey, you. Please don't, you'll put me off. I'm not very good at this. And all this noise just makes me nervous. <laughs> Welcome to the big show, everybody. <laughs> where it's, uh, where, uh, what uh, kind of a day is it today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say it. It's a great day for America, everybody! Yes, it is. A great day for America, and a great day for American television. You're gonna resign? No, not that great. <laughs> Actually, I might. No. All right. Uh, no, it's a great day for American television because the tonight is the season finale of the award-winning PBS documentary series Jersey Shore. <laughs> it's not on PBS. It's on MTV. I I uh, I watched it earlier tonight because, of course, it is not last week. It is now. <laughs> No, 
I did. I watched the finale of Jersey Shore tonight. <laughs> Wasn't it great? Though I loved it when that guy said that thing to that girl, and then, then the other guy said, yo, and everybody was like, oh, and then there was I. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I'm like you. I cannot afford cable. <laughs> well, if you can, why are you watching this then? <laughs> Anyway, the Jersey, the Jersey Shore show, it's huge. It's the most popular show in MTV's history. Even more populous than, uh, populous. <laughs> Even more populous. <laughs> Turning into some kind of Lord of the Rings character. <laughs> Even... Even more populous. <laughs> What character was that in Lord of the Rings? I don't know, I just... I don't. Anyway, it's the most popular show in MTV history, the Jersey Shore. More popular than Beavis and Butthead. I know, I loved Beavis and Butthead with her. <laughs> Do you remember Beavis and Butthead? I loved Beavis and Butthead. The only time they ever mentioned Scotland and Beavis and Butthead, this is true, I, uh, I remember I was watching it and they said, uh, you, you know that country... Oh, no, it was uh, that band Big Country was on. Remember? Big Country, dee 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 And one of them said, they're from Scotland. <laughs> uh, and then the other went, Scotland. Ah, ah, Scotland. Isn't that the place where everything sucks? <laughs> that was like, wow, they've been there. Uh, Okay, it's a joke, it's a joke. And anyway, it's not even my joke, it was their joke. And it, was, and it was years ago and we've all moved on. Anyway, I'm not talking about Beavis and Boyd. What am I talking about? The Jersey Shore, right? If you, now, if you haven't seen the Jersey Shore, it basically it's the real world, but with Italian-Americans. And everyone in the show spends a lot of time in tanning booths and putting on hair gel. And one of the guys says, being Italian's all about family, friends, tanning, and gel. <laughs> And I'm thinking, I don't think all Italian-Americans would agree with that, but the cast of the Jersey Shore, they call themselves Guidos and Guidettes. They really do. <laughs> Have you ever seen Here's a clip of these people. It takes me about 25 minutes to do my hair. I love Guidos. Let's go. My abs are so ripped up, it's called the situation. If you're not a Guido, then you can get the out of my face. It says my abs are so ripped up that it's called the situation. He's just called the situation. <laughs> it gives his abs a nickname because their abs are so awesome. They're a situation. I think the situation he needs is get himself next to a damn dictionary. I, think I, I tell you, I'm jealous. That's, I wish my abs had a name like the situation. I think I call my abs the catastrophe. <laughs> The ruined, oh, I don't know. Uh, I do call my ass the constipation, though. <laughs> but it just doesn't do anything when I call it that. It's just quiet. <laughs> I can't get a squeak out of it. Now, it probably won't surprise you to learn that on the Jersey Shore, they do a lot of drinking. They gather around a blender in the kitchen and they make a drink with one banana and 15 different types of liquor. <laughs> Which I have to say, that kind of, I do remember doing that kind of thing. <laughs> it's what I used to call my breakfast smoothie. <laughs> then I would drink it and find myself usually in a situation. <laughs> or jail. <laughs> Anyway, MTV are saying they expect three million people to watch the Jersey Shore finale tonight, and people love watching other people embarrass themselves on television. That's why we are doing so well, but they... <laughs> the critics say that Jersey Shore is offensive and it tarnishes MTV's reputation, and I agree. MTV is the network that gave us the quality programming of, uh, Yo Mama, and... <laughs> what else is that? Ride My Pimp. That was another one, wasn't it? <laughs> Anyway, the, 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 the entire cast of the Jersey Shore are now famous. They've all signed on to do a second season of the show. Uh, the governor of New Jersey has asked for an emergency airlift of Jägermeister and spray tan. It's all coming in. <laughs> but I think the show is already ruined because these people now know, you know, they, they, they're famous and people know they're famous and they've become self-aware. And this causes something called the Hawthorne effect. Uh, it said that once a subject is aware of being observed, its behavior inherently changes. Do you see? 
This is true. Before the filming of a reality show, before John and Kate plus eight, John was much less douchey. But once he was observed, he became more of what he thought people expected and became a complete douchebag. And that's why. <laughs> Jersey Shore is like a, a modern version of the nature documentary. These uh, BBC, PBS things. You know, Here we see the young man trying to find a mate. His abdominal uh, muscles flex. They are called the situation. <laughs> Scares off predators with a thick layer of hair gel. <laughs> I'm just trying to think if I was ever so young and stupid, I had a nickname for my abs. <laughs> I did have a nickname for one part of my body, I remember. <laughs> Do I know what it was? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Conquistador. <laughs> word of the day. Today's word is basura. Basura. Welcome back to the show. How is the show different tonight? It's not. It's the same old basura. <laughs> Same old basura every night. Actually, the Spanish word of the day is not basura. That's one of the Spanish words of the day. The other Spanish word of the day is conquistador. <laughs> oh, that's right. You better applaud. <laughs> I'm overcompensating. Uh, do we have time for email? Yes. All right. Um, this is from Diane in Omaha in uh, Nebraska. Uh, she says, Dear Craig, I just cleaned out my pantry and discovered an old box of raisins. How can you tell if a raisin is too old to eat? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you've got to ask yourself if you've been cleaning out the pantry, when's the last time I cleaned out my pantry? Are they really raisins? <laughs> I think if you have to ask yourself, is this too old to eat? Don't eat it. <laughs> nah, that's not just for raisins, that's for anything. <laughs> I never thought of that, actually, until you started it. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, thought of what? Never you mind. <laughs> this is from Blair and Fife in Scotland. What? <laughs> and this is, uh, he says, hi, Craig. He probably says, hi, Craig. <laughs> I am hoping to move to America because I think if you want to be a success in anything, America is the place to be. Do you have any advice? <laughs> Want to be helpful could take my place. <laughs> Trying to be helpful to someone moving to America landed the free great opportunity for me. Yes, but they could take your job as a <laughs> CBS's late night lackey. <laughs> help them, don't help them. <laughs> You're probably better off staying at home. Uh, <laughs> this is wrong. Give me your poor, your downtrodden mask. No, I'm in. You can't come in. <laughs> All right, this is uh, from Mark in Dover Foxcroft in uh, Maine. Dover Foxcroft? That's like something on a radio. Dover Foxcroft. <laughs> Craig, my nine-year-old daughter wants me to ask, does it make you nervous about your job considering your desk is on wheels? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I tell you what makes me nervous, you letting your nine-year-old daughter watch this show, that's what makes me nervous. Although I have to be honest, I, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. People think, oh, you're saying that as a joke. I'm like, no, I swear, I don't give a caramba. <laughs> <laughs> it's very liberating when you're like that. You're like, ah, I don't care. <laughs> you're fired. Okay. <laughs> this is from Brianna in Jackson, Mississippi. She says, uh, hi, Craig. I've been watching your show and I saw you're trying to learn how to speak Spanish. Try watching Dora the Explorer. They teach you all kinds of Spanish words. <laughs> I'm not watching that basura. <laughs> Actually, I, I used to watch Dora the Explorer when my son was younger. He used to enjoy it, and I used to enjoy it too. Um, yeah. Uh, this is from Tammy in Salem in Oregon. Not the other Salem, where... Oh. <laughs> Scared myself there a little bit. Uh, Tammy says... <laughs> Hi, Craig. Being a man of the world as you are, knock it off. <laughs> I'm hoping that you can help me with someone. Someone? Something. All right. Uh, I hope you can help me with something. Do you have any suggestions for how I can get men to stop staring up my breasts all the time? <laughs> any advice you can give me would be greatly appreciated. Well, I have to answer uh, an email like this on a case-by-case -case basis, Tammy. <laughs> Before I, you know, could give you any advice as how to stop men looking at your breasts, I'd probably best have a look at them myself. <laughs> to see what's specific to your requirements. <laughs> or... You could wear loose clothing. Does that help, ladies? I don't know. I don't think there's anything you can really do. Um, men will stare at your breasts. Um, Unless they're polite. <laughs> then they'll pretend not to. <laughs> Which is what we do. We pretend that we're not looking, but we are. <laughs> and whenever you think, is he looking at my breast? He is. <laughs> Was that guy looking at? Yes. <laughs> Can't help it. Sorry. Try not to. I mean, it's, uh, look, the, the thing is, you've got to understand, it's not, it's not about objectification. It's just, it's just hardwired. You can't help it. I, tr I really try. I'm telling you, I really try. I, I do not believe in the objectification of women. I, 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 I believe I'm post-feminist. Uh, but, but when I see a woman, I look at her breasts. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> Out of time? <laughs> All right, well, here's a quick one then. This is from Randy in Franklin Grove in Illinois. Uh, 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 Randy says, Dear Craig, I have a problem starting conversations with guys at parties. What has or what would catch your attention? Well, you want to show them your breasts. <laughs> We'll take a break, we'll be right back. guest tonight is an actor, he's a musician, he's a good friend of the show. Please welcome the lovely and fragrant Adam Goldberg, everybody. Adam Goldberg. Hello, Adam. Hi, Craig. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? 
I'm all right. Really? What's wrong? No, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I, I, I mean, I should be honest, right? Yeah, why? All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. What? Are you looking at my breast? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not looking at your, uh, at your, uh, at your, uh, breasts. Right. Um, I'm, uh, well, you know, I, I, I quit smoking. Oh, dear. So I'm a little cranky. I mean, yes. Yeah. I mean, that's good that you quit smoking. I know. Um, but, you know, the last time I was here, we, we passed each other as I was going to. Uh, yeah, you were going to smoke, and I said, yeah. hey, where are you going? Right, right. Mm. And I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to go smoke. And, uh, you know, that's what I do before these shows, because it's a little anxiety-inducing to you me. You should I mean, be nervous about this show. This is crap. Well. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I know. No, Basura. I, I know. Basura. I, I, I do. I know. I do. I guess, and, and, and uh, yeah, the truth of it is, on the way here, I do have to tell myself that. It's yeah, a yeah, no, that's I, right. I, I, go, I understand. <laughs> I go, the, the, the show's meaningless, nobody watches Craig, exactly. you know, exactly. um, and, um, but, uh, yeah, no, it's, you know, it's a little anxiety inducing, so, so it's, it's strange, because I was just sitting there, and now I'm playing, like, iPhone tennis for, like, 45 minutes back there, um, and what, I'm, like, I'm 12 years old, you know well, what no, I mean, no, I no, played, no, no, I literally no. haven't played a video game since I was, like, you know, like, since I was 18. Really? And now it's just, like, you know, so I have, so I have carpal tunnel, and I'm cranky. But other than that, I'm well. How have you been? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm concerned yeah. that you're good. You haven't put on any, any weight, though. That's good. That, I think, is due to the irritable bowel syndrome I've had since I was 14. <laughs> um, so it sort of all balances out. I know I was a little concerned about that, too. But uh, regular as a, as a whistle. Everything is just uh, yeah. zipping along there? Yeah, just zipping along quite <laughs> How is the uh, situation? And the situation all right? The... <laughs> the uh, I, I actually I, I refer to mine as the as the bloat. The bloat. Um, yeah, um, it's uh, it's good. The situation room is fine. It's a, not um, the situation room. The situation room is with Wolf Blitzer. Wolf, Wolf Blitzer. Yeah, no. But I like Wolf Blitzer, but I suspect he doesn't have good abs. But <laughs> sometimes. Now Anderson Cooper, you well, know yeah. he's got abs. Yeah, you know, yeah. Well, because and you know every time you see the you know the sort of ads for CNN, he's always in. Uh, he's got like the T-shirt like yeah, up yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Like he's Larry a, the Cable he's Guy. He's holding the yeah, microphone yeah. and he's you know, right. Yeah. Um, but I mean, God bless him, you know, Anderson. Uh, but uh, I've, I've oftentimes have a case of the wolf blitzer. You're touching. Well. You're touching me. <laughs> have you been to some kind of life coach or <laughs> something like that? I. Uh, well, what's I, the deal I, with touching me? I don't know what to do with my hands. Well, all right, all right. But well, let's be honest. When, when you, were, you when you were because out here the, before, no, no, no. You wouldn't, I wouldn't let you smoke a cigarette. That's not true. I mean, like, let's come on. Like, you got to be honest with the people. I always kept a cigarette kept down a cigarette here, down you know. There, and you guys yeah. digitally removed the smoke later. Digitally um, removed. We. <laughs> digitally. We don't even have a computer here. I, a couple of times, I, I think you. A couple of times, I think you digitally removed my appearance entirely. <laughs> No, that's called getting bumped. That's oh, nothing right, that's to do with. That's, with, that's yeah. nothing. No, no. But I like. Did you? So have you been to some kind of Tony Robbins thing um, or something? I, 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 I was. I was told that you know. I. I I've you know, been, I really I, value you. I've been. Uh, I've been. Um, I started going to. A, A cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> That's, imagine being me. I'm around me all the time. Yeah, you, you know, I, I mean? you, uh, you, but you quit a lot of things, right? I did, yeah. Did but you, smoking you, was, was the hardest thing to quit. It was, right? It was, absolutely. Yeah, well, you stopped drinking. Well, I stopped drinking. You know, you lose 20 pounds. People are like, oh, look at right, you. Right. You look great. Not living in a dumpster. But the, uh, <laughs> But when you stop smoking, it's, it's very difficult. You're cranky and you're upset. Well, all you, your associations are all, you know, you make a telephone call, you know, you're driving, you're stuck in traffic, well, maybe you know. Maybe you should get a new addiction. It, maybe, um... I've been looking into internet porn as a possible... <laughs> sort of supplement, um... But that's very difficult to do in a restaurant after a meal, you know, the, uh... <laughs> They should make everybody go outside like they do with cigarettes. <laughs> Go, that uh, looks like a good restaurant. Look at all these people outside. That's true. I, I don't know that it's, it's, strictly speaking, I don't know that it's banned. I mean, you can't be nude, but you could probably, I mean, I think you're allowed to... Really? Do you think you could give yourself a bit of I a think hand you're, shandy? You're I, probably in, in, allowed to just... 
I think you can do whatever you want as long as you don't take your clothes off. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know if that's true or else You're the prisons would be empty. That, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I'm sorry but, for robbing the bank, but I was wearing my clothes. Well, case dismissed. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I don't think you can do... I don't think you can murder somebody in as long as you're wearing clothes. But I think that, like, you're probably... I don't know. Can you touch yourself? I know you can't rub up against people in the subway. Believe me, I know All this. right, yeah, yeah. Um, but... I don't know that you're not allowed to rub up against yourself. Uh, it'd be, it'd be worth finding out because I might, I might rub up against myself I later. I think it's something like, yeah. the problem is when you're done, you want a cigarette, so. Not me, I haven't had a cigarette in years. Right, but I'm But saying, then again, I haven't rubbed up against myself in years. I, really, have you not? No, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Thanks to the power of positive thinking. Wow. <laughs> really, years? Hours. <laughs> I don't know. It's, yeah, I think it's. But you're Catholic or something, right? No, 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 no. I, and I believe that uh, you know many denominations, uh, you know, the, right, enjoy yeah, but self pleasure. I, they do, but then, but some, I think, when they indulge, don't they go to hell or something? Or uh, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I suspect, though, that it's you know, church. Certain churches don't encourage it. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know. it's not, it's, it wouldn't be part of like a sermon or. Uh, no, 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 no. I, yeah. I don't think. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Are you, I'm checking. Time is left. <laughs> I was checking to see if, if he was actually going. Ah! Ah, right, 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 right. Is there a little censor over there? He's not a censor. He's. A, is there he, a little Catholic over there? Yeah, no. No, oh, there he, is. No, he's, he's Jewish. He's Jewish. It's, Who are we looking at? It's oh, Michael, yeah. yeah. There's a. Oh, okay. Because I just see. I see the monitor, and I. I just gravitate towards my image. You know, that's all. I, I, oh, see, yeah, they have yeah. a monitor down there, did so it's hard not to keep a, looking at how huge your hair is. Look at my that. hair? No, 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 not yours. I'm, I mean, my, one's hair. You don't even look at me in the monitor? You only look at you? Well, the thing, the weird thing about being on these talk shows is, is that, you know, you're basically shot just from this. I mean, unless you really, unless you do this, you know, you don't really, this is actually my better side. I mean, I don't have, oh, but no, you, you stay there. I'll talk to you like this. I mean, neither side is Do great, you, uh... but you know what's funny? Yeah. This side is better. This side, this side is better for my hair. Yeah. This side is better for my nose. Um, Actually, I was going to talk to you. Yeah, and I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all right. I'm, I'm going to be working on that next. I, I think I'm. Are you getting I'm, plastic I'm, surgery? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to no. do that. Yeah, because I got to. Because they're not smoking. I got to. Re you said replace it with something, so I'm going to go nuts. Get, get, I'm going to uh, go get, get boobies. Nuts. Get boobies. Oh, I'm going to get. Tiaras? Tiaras? You're I'm gonna, gonna get, get tiaras? I'm gonna just go nuts, you know. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do the nose, I'm gonna get plugs, which I don't even need, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna cover my forehead with plugs. Do, you should try and get, ask them to turn you into a Klingon. <laughs> I will. I think some people end up uh, leaving Beverly Hills. I mean, have you, have you, you've driven through Beverly Hills and seen people driving that don't look like they, that they're That's citizens like they're of human. Earth? Yeah, I yeah. know. It's bad. You get a lot of plastic surgery. You end they're, up looking very strange. I went to a function the other night. Um, a where function, there, a you function. Say? A fun mm -hmm. Actually, I went to see this. Uh, see, if I'm too specific and this woman is watching, then she'll feel bad. Right. Know? Well, you don't want to do that. Right. We're not so about making people it was feel a thing, bad. Right. No, not at all. Right. Um, so it was this thing where there was a screening of something and there were some, uh, it was a kind of a generally an older, uh, an older crowd and there was a woman who paid me a very nice compliment which I don't even know what I'm talking about this this isn't you know yeah, come on get it out she was very out. no she was very nice but it was really it was like hey oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah no and I, I didn't know if she was um, com at first complimenting me or terrified you know uh, or she was mad at me or um, you should I, have done I, that do that thing that you do touch right, her right. yeah you could touch her to the, uh, well, A Show. Welcome back to A Show on television. <laughs> I was going to say, welcome back to the big show, and then I thought, oh, why, why lie? <laughs> welcome uh, to a small show of little consequence on very late at night, but it's free. <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> my next lucky guest is in a... Uh, 
is the movie called Bright Star, which is available on DVD on Tuesday. Please welcome the very lovely Abby Cornish, everybody. Abby Cornish. Say what a lovely dress you're wearing. Oh, thank you very much. Why the hell is that funny? Very nice, though. It's lovely. Cheers. <laughs> Look at that cup. That's incredible. You like this cup? It's so crazy. Where'd yeah, you get that? The ladies love that. <laughs> kind of, I'm kind of frightened of it. Yeah, that's what right. You got in there? Yeah, I call it conquistador. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's an American rattlesnake cup right there. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. You're from Australia, though, aren't you? I'm from Australia, yeah. Yeah, have you ever seen... Do you have rattlesnakes in Australia? We don't have rattlesnakes. No, you have everything else that's poisonous, yeah. though. You've got the poisonous spiders and uh, kangaroos, poisonous... Uh... <laughs> Koalas, everything, I've, yeah. I've held a koala bear. Oh, really? I did, I held How a koala bear, and it pooed on me. <laughs> It was adorable, though. Yeah, well, you, you took him out of his uh, environment. But they're not as soft as you feel, a, no, as you think, right? No, they're quite wiry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's the same as, same as, uh, have you, ever, you, you know what a wombat is, right? A wombat? A wombat, yeah. Is that a lady bat? <laughs> what? What is that? What is a wombat? So it's, it's an Australian, you know, mammal, and it's a, they're usually around about this big. Right. Um, you know, super adorable, like fat, round, little, you know, uh, mammals, and you think they're going to be really soft and cuddly, and they're super hard. They're, like they, they're as hard as this table. It's crazy. As hard as a table. As hard as a table. <laughs> Yeah. Wombat, and as you rough say. as a boar. It's kind of like. Rough as a boar and hard as a, as a table? <laughs> You're making this up, aren't you? It's totally true. I really? Had a, I had a friend who had a pet wombat. What happened to your friend? My friend, look, she, she's still alive, yeah. She's, All right. Because it's just when you said I had a friend, I was like, yeah. oh, that sounds like it's in the past. Well, it was in the past. Was, was she killed by a wombat? A, <laughs> a wombat attack. But it was awesome. Wombat it was attack thing. in Australia. Did, yeah. Do they attack people, wombats? Uh, n no. All right. No. Well, that's a relief. Yeah. <laughs> so wh when did you come to America? Recently? I came to America a year and a half ago. Have you been around, seen any of it yet? Uh, no, I just stay in my house. All right, well, that's probably the thing. Until you get comfortable, stay at your house. No, it's lovely. I mean, we've taken trips to Big Sur. We? Sir. You and your friend? My boyfriend, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Um, to Big Sur and Sedona. <laughs> You know, Do you call him my little wombat or anything like that? <laughs> so you've been to Sedona? I don't, I don't, I've been to Sedona. I don't have a great name for, for him. Or oh, any, oh, all yeah. parts of his I body, don't. actually. Come on, I don't, I do. I don't. No, I... Uh... <laughs> so you've been to Sedona, you say. I've been yeah. there. Very nice. Yeah. Um, that's in Arizona, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Amazing place. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, they've got the red rocks there. They do. Lots mm -hmm. of red rock. Yeah, there's pretty there's, much pretty much all there is there, really. Pretty much all there is. And, the, and those amazing trees that kind of, you know, spindle around. And I didn't see any of them. You Where didn't? No. You I... need to find those, that, you well, know. Trees they that go like that? Trees that go like that. And the, and the closer you are to, a, to an energy center, the more the trees, you know, spindle around themselves. And so you, because you, you know Sedona is a, you know, a, quite a spiritual place and there's lots of places in Sedona where you don't... <laughs> no, I'm listening. I'm keeping an open mind. I'm keeping okay. an open mind is what I'm doing. Well, you know, Sedona is a, a magical spiritual place and so there's all these uh, yeah, inlets and outlets for, for energy there. And if you mm -hmm. find, if you go to these places and find these spots, it's really interesting to see what happens to the landscape and the trees are the biggest indication. You drive a Prius, don't you? <laughs> Not a Prius. Not a Prius? It is a hybrid. Yeah. But that's all right. That's yeah. good. So the, the energy things come around. And, <laughs> and where else have you been? Big Sur, you say? Uh, yeah, I've been to Big Sur and, and you know, s the surrounding areas. And um, I, I spent some time in Austin, Texas. I New love York Austin, and, Texas. Yeah, Austin's awesome. I do love Austin. They've got great hot sauce there. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big hot sauce person. You don't like hot sauce? I like a 
little touch every now and then, but I, too much of Who it. Who doesn't? But I'm like... talking about sauce. <laughs> <laughs> is it all right? Go wild. All right, then, all right. Yeah, yeah. unlimited lots. <laughs> you know, you've got to try the hot sauce in Austin. It's fantastic. There's a store there. It's got hundreds of different ways of hurting yourself with sauce. Okay, I've got to go. Yeah, I know I, you should. I could really hurt myself because yeah, do I Do you go on road trips in your little Prius driving around America? <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> now everyone's going to think I have a Prius. I don't have a Prius. Nothing but, wrong with that. But a Prius is a great, yeah. Yeah, they're great. Um, uh, what was the question? <laughs> Do you enjoy hot sauce or have you been attacked by a wombat? I can't remember. It was either one or the other. You know what? When I was a kid, we had a we had a, a, a joey, a baby kangaroo, which was pretty amazing. I love kangaroos. Kangaroos They're are dangerous, beautiful. though. <laughs> so, so people, I mean, they definitely, they have this side to them that, you know, is the protector and the nurturer, but, you know, most animals, if you step on their territory, if you try to mess, mess with them, they do. Yeah, um, Baldwins. There's another one. <laughs> But when I was a kid, we had this little, we had this little baby Joey, uh, and we reared him, and he was a male, so he ended up, you know... You reared a male kangaroo? We reared a male kangaroo. We had a... We would hang, like, a, we would hang jumpers and shirts on the doorknobs as little pouches, and he would just bound up, and he would put in his head and get himself in the... Adam Goldberg <laughs> just did that to me right oh, here, right yeah. there. He was being know. a kangaroo. He I think he's been a bit needy. He's been a bit needy right now. Um, so, yeah, the kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, kangaroo that you reared. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I can't even remember where I was going no, with the story now, it. but it was right. awesome. It's good. Is this film good? Uh, it's great, yeah. It's a, re it's a really great film. And Jane Campion directed it. She did the piano. She's clever, yeah. She's, she's very good. She's super Australian. Clever. She's, she's actually from New Zealand. Oh, right, but she okay. resides in Australia now. All right. Um, but she yeah, did the piano, right? She did the piano. Yeah. But it's a really beautiful love story between uh, John Keats and Fanny Braun, the girl that lived next door, and it's a true story. Very pure. Now, is he actually that size, or is this you lying down? He's really that size. Right, so that's going to be... So you are uh, play a woman who fell in love with a little I person? I play a giant, <laughs> size they just they, they they blew me up like four times so I'm like this so giant... you're this giant woman that takes over the town and goes nuts yeah and falls and falls in love with the beautiful young small poet all right I've, I've got a poem for you <laughs> Your, uh, your hair's a different colour there. Yeah, it's it's dark there, yeah. Yeah. That's a good trick, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it, it helps people to, you know, convince them that, that you're actually that character. Yeah, no, it's a good yeah. idea. I'm going to try that here. It works, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow you should come in with a whole new do. I might, you know. Yeah. Yeah, all right. We've got to go. We're out of time. Okay. Be honest with me. Have you enjoyed yourself here? At the show? Yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. Do you want to come back? Sure. All right, then. <laughs> Happy Cardiff, everybody! Soy un gato. I think we learned something quite important. Uh, two, two important things that we learned on the show. One, two, three, three important. <laughs> three important things on the show. One, the word of the, say, the day is basura. <laughs> two, the real word of the day is conquistador. <laughs> and, and, what a delightful dress Abby was wearing, don't you think? <laughs> 